Okay, July 5th. Here's the beam, the hot load. This is going to Port Washington, Ohio. It's a couple hours away. Uh, we'll get to it. Pre-trip's just finished up, so. Jump in the old pig and get scooting down the road. something that needed to be delivered today on the 5th the day after July 4th had to be delivered today must you know and um, it was from you know this load is with a customer of mine that uh, I've dealt with uh, for quite a few years and for some reason this year has kind of fell off the face of the earth when everything went slow. So, um, I, uh, I know that they had loads coming out of the same area, uh, you know, that I've, that I typically haul or have hauled for them and, uh, not sure if they just found somebody that was cheaper uh, to haul this stuff, maybe some green horn out here running around trying to just get what he can get, which is fine, whatever. You know, that only lasts for so long and then that guy's out of business because he's doing it too cheap. Um, so this, this, this load presented itself, you know, at the, you know, basically the end of the day on Wednesday and, uh, I was kind of, you know, they were kind of at my back and call. They, they wanted me, you know, they were at my mercy. I had, you know, they needed me to take it. Uh, couldn't find anybody else is what I'm suspecting. Uh, this load pays freaking amazing. Uh, just to go from my house up here, it's like 124 miles. Uh, it's a 100-mile run from pickup to delivery. And uh, it, it pays really well. Uh, so I had no problems picking it up. But I did have a little heart-to-heart -heart with them on, uh, you know, them stopping, you know, just not using me anymore. Uh, you know, talking to a broker that I've dealt with for years. And uh, just had a, had a little kind of a heart-to-heart -heart with them. Like, you know, not really sure if I want to mess up my plans that I've had for a four day weekend to run your stuff. Uh, so the price better be good kind of thing. And it was, it, the price turned out great. I went up and picked it up and believe it or not, after I signed on or after I got the confirmation on that load, on the load that we have now, uh, they actually called me back, the broker called me back and uh, evidently felt bad or whatever for what what has happened, um, you know, because I'm, I'm loyal. I, I, you know, this guy can call me and be like, Hey man, I don't know what to do. I have this, 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 that has to be all and everything has to be delivered, you know, within a day and a half or two days. And, you know, if I'm available, I'm like, hell yeah, I'll take every bit of it. Well, you know, and he would never have to worry about that load, you know, or those loads, they would just be delivered on time, uh, great customer service, the whole nine yards. So, uh, like, like I said, I think he, I think he kind of felt bad, realized what, what was going on. We'll see in the future. Um, but it wasn't, it wasn't 10, 15 minutes after I got off the phone with him for the load that I've got on now. Uh, he actually had two more loads, 
one picking up on Monday out of the same facility that I picked this beam up out of, um, up in Grove City, and then, uh, which goes to West Virginia, uh, down around Beckley. And then there's uh, another load down in West Virginia, uh, it's for the same company, that I'm going to drive right past, pick it up, and take it just south of Beckley. Uh, West Virginia. So, you know, he hooked me up on those two loads also, and he was already looking for something else for me to do. Uh, so we'll, we'll just see. You know, I know the loads are out there. Uh, and like I said, I do not get on the load boards. It's just, you know, I don't do it. I, I don't, I don't pay for any load boards anymore. Um, if I have to, you know, I will, but as of right now, I still do not have to. So we'll, we'll just see how things go with that, with that company, you know, with that contact on if they keep calling me or not. Uh, if not, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you're going to be a Joe Schmo follow me to do a, do a load and I'm not cutting you any breaks. Um, you know, It'll be my price, or you can find somebody else. But uh, the loads down in that are going down to uh, West Virginia, uh, they uh, they also pay wonderful. Um, the broker that I have, you know, the company that I'm, you know, dealing with here, uh, really pays well on the loads, and uh, hopefully things are picking up with them. And they start calling me back. Hopefully the guy that they, you know, or whoever they've had running this crap screwed up. And, uh, you know, they basically just kicked him out. But they, they know my set prices and they hit, you know, they've never had a problem paying my prices. Uh, <coughs> they've never had a problem paying my prices, you know, my haul rates. So... And the reason for that is because I I built a reputation with them. They know that uh, when I say I'm going to do something and I'll make sure it's delivered one way or another, it's done. They don't have to worry about it. I've never missed a load with them. Never missed a deadline with them, ever. So, you know, the only logical explanation that I know of is, you know, maybe they were experimenting with someone else. Uh, and I encourage everybody to do that. Uh, you know, you, you never know. There might be somebody out there that can do it cheaper than me and do the job just as great or greater than me. So, um, I'm just a man of my word. I'm not out here. I'm not a super trucker. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a guy that's, you know, got a big head or a big ego on out here hauling stuff. I mean, I'm not reinventing the wheel. It's just going from point A to point B and uh, having good customer service and, and being nice to the customers and uh, trying to accommodate them with their needs and just getting stuff done. So, you know, it's not hard work. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully things pick up. So we're going to get this beam delivered. We're not too far from it. Uh, we'll get it delivered and... Uh, you know, <coughs> the truck's awful dirty. I think I might just go to, uh, I think I might just go get her washed up today. Uh, I haven't washed it since, uh, since the turbo went out shortly after I bought the truck and, uh, had oil all up underneath of it. So, well, I think we'll get the truck and trailer washed up today trailer that's on me I know it hasn't been washed since last fall so we'll get we'll get it all cleaned up and uh, we'll get home and I think we'll be home early enough to where uh, I can go ahead and do the uh, transmission puller and the exhaust manifold on this truck for Monday morning so stay tuned and we'll get this thing delivered all right, we made it. Get drove back here in the back, and we'll uh, get our PPE on. 
hard hat and safety vest. Um, get all that stuff on and get unstrapped and get unloaded. up here to the Roberts Road truck wash in Columbus hopefully hopefully this place isn't packed one or two trucks in front of me would be fine hopefully it's not packed if it is it'll be a few hours and I really don't want to sit up here that long so we're almost there it's right next door to uh, Wendy's just as a reference, hey, there's Wendy's. And let's see, hey, I think we lucked out. Oh, hell yeah, we're good. Got a couple vans in front of us. Looks like one's getting a washout, and then just a tractor. So, shouldn't be too bad. We'll get in here and get washed up. All right, she is definitely filthy. Look at this. Dirt. Pay dirt. That dirt made me money. So we'll get this all cleaned up. All nice and pretty. Make the old pig look new again. up the truck and trailer so to come up here to Roberts Road to have it done right there's the bill 3601 to wash the truck trailer got the wheels all clean trailer all cleaned up get back in here I mean chrome tip stainless tip whatever it's all nice and shiny Looking good. Looking good. This is how I like to roll up and down the road. All nice and clean. And this is at the Roberts Road Professional Truck Wash in Columbus on the west side by the Wendy's. Definitely check them out. They do a great job. Uh, if you are up here, make sure you get a card from them every every 11th yeah every 11th truck wash is free so i've got one more to pay for this is actually number nine so after my next truck wash the following truck wash will be free truck and trailer both all right got her all cleaned up if you did not hear me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you're wanting to stop me for. Anyway, truck's been washed and trailer's been washed also. Uh, 
if you didn't hear what I was saying in there, because it was awful loud, um, 36 bucks is what it cost to get the truck and trailer washed up here. And that's cheap. That's, that's really cheap. Uh, and they were done in like 20 minutes and it's well worth, it's well worth it to me, um, to come up and pay the 36 bucks and have it done. Now, sometimes it's a little bit more, but you know, it's cause I have a different truck or a different trailer or whatever. Um, hell last time it was only 50 bucks and I had this truck, my blue truck and my trailer. My, uh, this truck was actually up on the trailer that I have on me now. And I was pulling everything with my blue truck. I got everything washed. I got it degreased underneath the white truck uh, due to the oil leakage from the turbo uh, pedestal. Uh, and it, it was only 50 bucks. And it didn't take very long at all to get it done. So um, all in all, well worth it. Every 11th truck wash up there is free. All you have to do is get your get a little card off of a little business card, and on the back of that business card, uh, whenever you get the uh, whenever you get your truck washed, just have a mark on the back of the business card, and every eleventh one is free, uh, and that is truck and trailer. So, very worth it, very well worth it. So if you're in the Columbus area and you need your truck washed, uh, up here on Roberts Road on the west side. Uh, Roberts Road Professional Truck Wash is where you'd want to go. So, all right, we'll get home. All right, just got back here to the house. We'll let this uh, truck cool down, get her unhooked, pull back up to the uh, garage and do some other work. I'm gonna make that into another video. Today's video was just going to be running that, uh, running the load and going to the truck wash. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very, very happy with what they've done up there. They do a great job up there at Roberts Road and they're open 24 seven. Uh, they're even open on Christmas. You know, truckers are working on Christmas, so they're working too. But they have definitely done a great job on this truck. Uh, as as always, I mean, they do they do a great job on all of them. So, yeah, for a twenty year old truck, man, she looks good. So, like, subscribe, keep watching my videos, hit the bell, leave some comments. As always, off to the next adventure.